What's up guys, Spiro here from WP Society and I'm very excited about today's video because in today's video I'm showing you how you can speed up your website for 0.2 seconds if you already have contact form 7 running on your website. This is a really amazing trick that um, I've found as a solution because contact form 7 itself is a very heavy script and I was thinking how I could improve it and then I found out a solution for myself it's working, I've tested it on more than 20 websites so far and it worked on every single website and that's why I'm actually excited. Before we hop into the content, I just want to let you know that here at WP Society we create WordPress tutorials for beginners, intermediate and advanced users. So if you're into WordPress, if you want to get better, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos and remember we release videos every single day so hop on hit that subscribe and hit the notification bell and let's get better together all right guys we are now inside my computer and over at goodmoodpromotions.com as you can see this is one of the blog templates that i'm using uh, in creation of the next tutorial on how to make a blog which will be out in a few days uh, so let me show you quickly what's the problem with contact form 7 you might notice that you might didn't go after it trust me guys this will significantly improve your user experience uh, I've seen changes from 0.3 seconds uh, the worst was 0.2 seconds improvements on a website the bigger the site the better the improvement uh, if you have an established site like few years old site this will significantly improve site loading speeds what we want to do now quickly right click and go to view paid source search or control F and search for contact form and you'll see contact form 7 CSS file that's a one query and second query is contact form 7 JS file and guys there is a little piece of uh, encode script as well loading in the header and look guys this code is unnecessarily loaded on my website on a home page because at the home page I don't have a contact form unless you have a contact form at that page so I figured out how we can make it work exclusively and only on the pages that we want and pages that have contact form. Now let's quickly open wpsociety.com and here is a, a URL and here is a link to the article I've wrote about this problem, how to load contact form 7 styles and scripts only on selected pages, uh, posts and pages. And if you want, give it a read, give it a go so you can understand what this script is uh, exactly doing. But I'm just gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and here is complete script and what we're gonna do we're gonna copy this script and then we're gonna hop on dashboard and then we're gonna go appearance and team editor and now guys there is a one thing that I that, that I'm actually not showing you but I'm gonna mention it's not recommended to change functions.php file in your parent team. Best practical says that you should create a child team. If you have no experience and if at the moment you don't have a child team, make sure you check that card up above because in that card I'm gonna leave a video which will teach you how to create a child team of the any team. And uh, if you struggle, if you, if you get stuck creating one, feel free to drop the question on that video. I'm gonna reach out to you and help you sort your problems. Once you have a child team, then you should go to team editor, like where I'm exactly right now. All right, guys, I just wanna be sure that we are talking same language. So right now you have your child team activated and you are in your child teams functions.php file. And that's the file that we're gonna edit. I strongly recommend you to follow best practicals and not to edit functions.php of your parent team. Reason why, if your parent team gets an update, once it's update, everything you've done will be erased and you're gonna slow down website back to what it was before. So make sure you created your child team and you're editing functions.php file in the child team. All right, with that being repeated, I feel comfortable to continue with tutorial. So we're gonna go to this WP Society blog post that I've created for purposes of this tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna leave link down below in description. If you wanna learn more about how the function works itself, read this and you'll figure out a little bit in depth why I made this and how it helps your SEO. Uh, now, guys, what you want to do, you wanna scroll to the bottom of the script, to the last one and select all and copy. Make sure that you select from top to the bottom, copy everything 
and in your functions file paste and then click update this change will now fix your site speed but your forms won't work at all and i'm going to show you how you can set it up to work and it's very very simple just bear with me a few minutes now let's go let's open up uh, our website and let's check again a uh, source code so click right click and click view paid source and search for contact form and of course there is no contact forms loaded at the moment at the site so what we achieved so far on, with our website is that even though plugin is installed and activated our website neglects the scripts and doesn't load script at all or actually to be honest it loads in these three conditions now there is a question if you're gonna use script or if you use contact form only on one page then you want to use this piece of code here where it says if is page and then just one contact us and if you want to use your contact us page on multiple pages for example you might can have a hire us page and contact us page slightly different pages which both use contact form 7 for example let me show you my goodmoodpromotions.coinz I have work with us and contact us and they slightly different forms this one is request marketing assessment and this one is also using contact form 7 just slightly different form so you see what I mean I need two pages on, in this case one is work with us and the other one is contact us so let's quickly cut it off let's go back to this example if you have only one contact page what you're gonna do you're gonna put two slashes here and space that means you're gonna comment out this line of the code here and then uncomment the line above like this then what you're gonna do you're gonna open up this page and you will check this permalink here and it says contact us with the dash you copy the permalink come over paste it it just accidentally happens to be the same and then click update file let's go back to the page what we did now is contact form is not loading anywhere look it's not loading on home page let's go open about us page and check for contact form of course it's not loading on about us page and then if we go over and not open up our contact page and we open up and you'll see look contact form css is loaded and then down underneath contact form the inline code and contact form javascript is loaded now guys your contact form will work let's test it quickly spiro spiro.coac at who.com test test and it's gonna send it out and it's gonna here we go it's a test it arrived so guys if you have only one contact form on your website that's it you don't have to do anything else you're done your site is permanently fixed of course if you edit these changes into your functions php of your child team now if you have multiple contact us pages this is what i'm gonna do right now you wanna create an array of these entries and so let's quickly go to contact form and then we're gonna copy this here short code and then let's hop into single page and i'm gonna edit the page and just paste this paste it here and then we're gonna click update and then we're gonna view post and as you can see form is here but if we open up code it's not gonna load because it loads only and only on this contact page that we've created earlier why because we defined it in this here script so if we want to load it on multiple pages we have to activate this array that we commented out earlier so we're gonna comment out this only one page and then we're gonna uncomment this array and in here we're gonna add this contact us page and then you can see here is a page title and page id let me quickly show you what's page title what's page id and what's permanent if you logged into your admin account and then you you'll have this admin bar here and then you hover over edit page at the bottom left corner you can see it says post equals 5817 we can put it here or we can put it here at the end we can just remove this and put 5718 i think was it 
Five eight seventeen. Oh my god, I'm so tired. All right, and let's now update. And again, guys, script will work. Look, it's working. And the last one, you can use your page title. So there are three ways which we can use an error. It's it's only important to remember if you're gonna use post ID, you don't put the brackets. If you're using page title or page uh, permalink, all you have to do is put it in brackets. And of course, I'm not gonna use it on more than one page. So I'm gonna comment this out and I'm gonna comment this in or remove comments. And that's it guys, update the file. And guys, that's the way to speed up your website for whole 0.2 seconds. Test it yourself. Comment in the description below how much faster your website is working. Can you notice it? And one last thing before I knock off, I want to let you know if you want to learn how to make money online, how to quit your nine to five and earn your freedom, check my link down below in the description of this video where I'm going to leave you my number one most recommended opportunity to, to make money online. Apply for my email list and I'm going to send it over to you right away, right now. With that being said, guys, we got to the end of this video. Make sure you check these two cards on the right hand side. I'm going to leave something really good. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again. 5, 8, 17. Oh my God. I'm so tired. And that's it. For real. Oh.